It's confusing to people if, if you don't explain what's really happened, if you just, you know, reel out all the cliches. And, like if somebody's coming down the street and you walk up to them and say, Brother, have you been washed in the blood? I hope not. Well, have you been born again? Not lately. Well, have you ever been saved? Oh, yeah. Last summer, up at camp. It was a really nice night. Moon was full, and we're out in the lake in the boat, and I stood up. And I can't swim, and these guys had to drag me. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm trying to, trying to find out, have you, ever, have you ever deeply experienced a kind of personal revelation, you know, a, uh, like a sanctif... You know, like being born, you know, washed in the consecrate. I'm trying to tell you the good news. The good news? What's that? You're going to hell! What's the bad news? God's not interested in, in who's good and bad. You know, you don't get to heaven because you're good. You don't go to hell because you're bad. You get to heaven because you asked to. You don't go to hell because you're bad. You go to hell because you didn't want to go to heaven. So good and bad is not what's really important. You either believe in God or you don't. You either have Jesus or you don't. And God's not confused by who really believes. He knows.